Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be going over the characters I have two different UR sets for. This is not just normal sets, I'm talking about UR sets. Some of these sets aren't full UR, but they may have like, uh, like 4 piece HP and then 2 piece uh, defense in like Riot or SR, just because I don't know, I don't need that much to use them for CC. But anyway, yeah, let's get into it. I'm also going to be going over. Uh, why I've got two sets for some of these characters, as well as is it worth it, is it not worth it, you know, early game, late game, is it because of when they first came out, stuff like that. Anyway, let's get into it. First one is Melly. So as you can see, I've got LR Melly here with uh, perfect attack crit down. As you can see, his CC, 68k, and if I give him a HP defense set, which is the second set I have for him, 71k. Now, the main reason for melee you'd want to have uh, two different gear sets for is mainly because you can use them as a link to give yourself extra attack. I know this is like Blue Demon Melee and Red Demon Melee and all those uh, other ones, but you can use them to give more attack, unless you say, uh, you know, you also want more HP on the character, you can switch melee to HP defense, and then, you know, they have more HP, or you want them to have more attack, so you switch to attack crit, you know, stuff like that. But also, melee is uh, it's always going to be a character that's going to get new copies. So having an attack rate and HP defense set is always nice, especially when he's got a you know, LR melee. is actually a very good DPS with HP defense, mainly because it's his relic. And the fact he's now got Sever, he's got Infect, his ultimate's a little stronger. You know, all these little things make him quite a bit stronger. But of course, two gear sets. I would say, if you don't have the resources to make two gear sets, don't worry about it. Just stick with attack rate down. But uh, HP defense, melee is also very good. Uh, just for CC, really. That's the main reason I have it, is when I play geared. Which is very uncommon. I just play geared just for the sake of getting a few coins, getting a Masters every week, get the 1,000 coins, and then you know, a new card comes out, I can immediately buy it without worrying about uh, coins. On to the next character. If you hear a pen clicking, that's because I have a list of all the characters with the gear sets I have for them. Next is... Uh, Margaret or Ludo. So when Margaret first came out, she was a very good DPS, especially against Barn. And just in general, she used to deal a lot of damage. So because because uh, her buffs, she had you know her grace is pretty good. Her passive is very good for goddesses, and her ultimate at the time was a very good DPS ultimate. This is of course uh, back in the day where the real the strongest ult in the game was the one death damage and Perg Mar uh, Perg Barky, yeah Perg Barn. Uh, Rupture AoE ult, which was broken at 6 6, of course. But this is the gear I have on her right now. It's HP defense, that's because uh, for like normal PvE content, whether that be guild boss or a final boss or even you know a demonic beast, you want to be running her HP defense on her just so she can tank a little bit better. She's gonna have red time mill link, so you can't be giving her attack crit dam and just give her red time just hope she can survive. You really want to give her HP defense to uh, enable her survivability. Uh, back in back there, yeah, I did have attack crit down, and I still do recommend that. I, you know, I do like my attack crit down set. For example, you know, if I'm building a team, you know, on my old Ludo, when I say old Ludo, uh, this Ludo here, you know, he's got he's got relic, and he's six six, and he's got decent CC because of that. So what I can do, he's level hundred as well. I just you know give him the attack crit down, and I can just put him onto a random character because I don't really have many really broken characters six six. Well, I mean, but that my Margaret isn't six six. My Asteros is not six six. Well, but one's not six six. You know, the only LR character I could physically get that is six six would be Escanor. But currently, I don't have the materials to get a LR. As you can see, I've only got fifty coins. But would I recommend? If I was to say nowadays, right, HP defense is the way to go for Margaret. You don't need attack crit down. I only had it at the time because she was a pretty decent DPS, but not anymore. She's it's just not needed. Her crit chance isn't high enough to like verify her having that anymore. Like back in the day, it was decent. Nowadays, that's like horrible. Like she's gonna struggle to crit at all. Of course, she has a several, so that's gonna crit most of the time. But still, wouldn't recommend it. I'll just say stick with HP defense now because she's used more for PVE for like knighthood points, all that kind of stuff. On to the next character, so that's Ludo done. On to the next one, which is Derriere. So Derriere is... I made her uh, two sets, so mainly she has... Uh, this one should have a attack, uh, attack defense. So I made her this attack defense set for uh, Red Derriere, and it was for Howlix, because uh, she was very good for Howlix back, back in the day when like Mono Red was the thing. And uh, the... LV Melly had just come out at the time, and you know, people were struggling to farm Howlix because Howlix was a pretty hard boss if you didn't have Red Escon or Dariary. But 
you know, I made that set for her. She was also good for, you know, she's good for Belmoth as well. So, of course, I kept her set. And then I now also have an HP defense set for her. So this HP defense set was mainly made for Liz. So mainly made for Light Liz, because Derriere is a link that gives you 340 defense. And Liz, her AoE is HP based, so I always give her Derriere link with HP defense. Just for, of course, the extra CC, enable her to tank. Or she's probably got Red Tom as well, to make it more irritating. But that's what I used to do. Uh, nowadays, I'll just say attack defense is probably the way to go. You don't really need HP defense. I only had it just because I wanted more CC. Don't really need it anymore. Uh, attack defense, definitely the best way to go. Use her for, uh, you know, Belmouth or all those other things. Because she is not a bad character. Of course, her passive doesn't only works in PvP. But, you know, her ability to drain old gauge and her ability to gain old gauge. Plus, her ultimate being amplifier is very good, especially for Belmouth. So, of course, if you do have her and she's 6-6... Six, six, I think I have a Belmoth video somewhere on my channel, which you can watch anyway. On to the next character, Escanor. So, back in the day, uh, this is back when the one came out, uh, I used to have uh, HP crit down on the one because he was a little squishy, and yes, after a while I did realize he'd okay, he does deal, it doesn't deal as much damage as I was like, so I made him attack crit down. So. so, currently, this is my ultimate one with attack crit down. Yes, I am 4 6, I've got perfect attack crit down. So that's the reason I've got so much CC for him. But, you know, nowadays he doesn't really need HP defense. Of course, unless you're pushing bo uh, box, uh, no, not even box CC, but just CC in general. You know, on PvP, I, I've not, I don't think it's really worth it. Of course, having a HP defense set could be good. Let's just say later on, there's an es uh, they make a, a version of Escanor, like I say, they make Halloween Escanor, and he's HP based. Then, yeah, cool, make a HP set. But currently, he is a just major DPS. He's really strong, and I just don't think he needs uh, HP defense. Attack Rodan, probably the only real one you would need currently. Uh, of course, let me just show you the other HP defense. So it's not even really HP defense, it's HP with rag gear. Because I had HP crit down, so I said I just made HP defense, and then I can switch HP pieces up for crit down, with pieces from the other set. But uh, that just sits on the one, because the one actually has decent CC, so I just give that to him. Actually, the next one is Merlin. So Merlin doesn't even currently have a set. Uh, this Merlin, I normally run with HP defense. So here we've got this Merlin here. Uh, I used to run this Merlin when I first got it with Attack Rate Dam, but I already had Attack Rate Dam and HP defense for Merlin. So Attack Rate Dam is good because, you know, this Merlin and Lolly Merlin are both decent DPSs in some content. As well as, you know, this Merlin here being really good for just farming in general. She's got two AoE skills, she can deal with decent damage. Not only that, she's got, you know, decent crit chance and decent crit damage. Uh, bear in mind, she gives herself 21% all stats, or it's a basic stats. Pretty sure it's all, yeah, all stats, which is pretty big, giving her 120% crit chance, a lot. She has the highest crit resistance and crit defense in the game. I think, I, no, maybe she's, her crit resistance is a little bit lower than Perg Melee, but her crit defense is the highest in the game. Plus the 21%, you know, she's really hard to crit, you then mix the Nashi involved, and it's like, she's a really irritating character. And at 6-6, she's not too bad, but for her, if you're going to be using her in uh, PvP, you want HP defense. In PvE, you really want a tight crit down. So, and most PvE content, you know, things are immune to debuffs. So you really want, you really want to balance out, like, the equation. Do you want it for PvP? Do you want it for PvE? Because, of course, you're going to use your own PvP. You want to be running HP defense, unless you're, of course, running everyone else HP defense. Then you can run your attack right down. But, uh, HP defense is also very good for the other Merlin. So, I want to mean the other Merlin. Oh, let me just uh, find her. Uh, this one. Which is the Merlin that is used for the Ult Gauge. Of course, if you're running Ult Rush, or just in general, let's say PvE, you want to run Ult Rush, or even for some um, final bosses, you know, she gives you one extra Ult Gauge. You want an Ult Rush there. Plus, she also gives Unknown 35% damage dealt, which is why, you know, most videos I do when I'm using her for uh, Nighthead Boss, no, not Nighthead Boss, sorry, Final Boss, I don't have Rimuru because she increases damage by 35% of Unknowns, which is kind of good, especially when a lot of collaborations get a lot of unknown characters, and most cl most collaborations at least have one strong unknown character. Of course, unless it's KOF or maybe the upcoming AOT collab, that may be full humans, but, you know, we may even get a uh, bloody unknown knowing Grand Cross, because they just don't like to give characters their respective races, even though some of them should be demons, some should be other races, but no, they just give them unknown because they're I'm not sure. Maybe they just want to fill up unknowns, because unknowns don't really have much in this story. But nowadays, I'd probably just give a HP defense. Of course, unless you want to farm stuff, then attack Redam isn't too bad. Merlin's probably one of the only characters I would say it's good to still have a HP defense set and a crit dam set. Because it's just, it's, she's just a very useful character. You know, she's got a DPS version. This is kind of a support DPS as well. It's kind of irritating. 
So two good uh, two good character sets. On to the next character, which is Estorosa. So at the start, I thought, you know, Estorosa, he needs attack right now. He's this insane DPS. And then after a while, I thought, you know, I'm switching him to, hey, oh, I made HP, uh, sorry, I used him attack right now, and then I switched him to HP defense. Because I thought, okay, he can do a lot of damage, but mainly his main damage comes from either his ultimate or encroachment. I thought, well, you know, anyone can deal damage when someone's encroached because he's really strong. And, you know, Hero Arena sort of came around. Oh, yeah, Hero Arena came around. I thought, okay, need more CC, need him to tank better. You know, HP defense is the way to go. So main HP defense, currently he is running HP defense, but attack crit dam, you know, is also good as well if you need him for a DPS. Because in some content, you know, it's good to have him with attack crit dam. Anyway, would that be like a, an event boss that is not immune to darkness? For some reason they've made some event immune to darkness, but currently I'd say HP defense is definitely the way to go. Mainly because it gives him survivability. You know, you probably can read Tommy or Link if he's got HP. Def if he's got attack down, he can just be easily mids down. If the, if with HP defense, he doesn't even break uh, 10k defense. He's not. You know, he's got all the free to play stuff. I didn't actually buy his Hawk Pass stuff. I should have really bought it. I don't currently have his relic. I might get it soon. I'm not too sure. And he's got decent percentages on his gear as well. So it's not like it's horrible. But overall, Astros is definitely one that needs HP defense. I made both, uh, mainly for Estoros, I thought was a D he is a DPS, but I made that for it because he was a DPS at the time, and I realized, no, HP defense, he needs HP defense uh, for, like, PvE content, which is, like, Hero Arena. I used quotation marks when I said that then, mainly because it's it's just, P the, the PvP passives still work, so it's kind of weird. On to the next one, the Red Tarmiel. So Red Tarmiel, I actually have two sets for. Of course, one is for Blue Tarmiel, which is triple defense, and then one for Tarmiel, which is HP defense. So of course, it's pretty obvious the reason why I have these two sets for these characters, uh, for Blue and Red Tarmiel. Red Tarmiel, you know, you want your character to have as much HP as possible, and Blue Tarmiel, you want them to have as much defense as possible. And of course, both sets, I highly recommend engraving. You know, I've got these HP pieces to max, and I started working on his attack as well. Of course, mine's still only 5-6 and not 6-6, six, six, unfortunately. But, you know, it's always useful uh, to have decent sets for these characters because, of course, like, you know, when a good tank comes up like that has defense, you know, you want Blue Tarmio with really high um, defense and just good stats in general. And then same when with uh, Dian. So Dian was horrible at the start. Red Tarmio came out. Dian was busted because of that. And, you know, have HP defense and attack, uh, sorry, uh, triple defense is definitely what you need. On to the next character, which is Queen Dian. So... My Queen Deanne sets are kind of weird. So she has the normal HP defense set, which is the set, of course, I would highly recommend. For Deanne, like, immediately, I would just say, go HP defense. Yes, my Deanne has 70,000 CC. She isn't very free to play. She's got all outfits, she's got relics, she's got perfect gear, she's 6'6". Yeah, she's not very free to play Deanne, I know. But HP defense is definitely the way to go. The, the, time, the amount of times I've made people forfeit in gear because they just can't kill my Deanne because she's too tanky. That's what you need. You just need... Of course, I do have a lot of outfits, of course. You know, I get the extra defense, I get the extra resistance, you know, crit resistance, crit defense, all that kind of good stuff. But she has a lot of, like, free-to-play outfits, you know, like that one, that one, that one, and that one. They're all free, so I only had to buy these two. This one was an event one, and this one was the one I just wanted to buy anyway. And then with weapons, of course, I had to buy a few more because of... Yeah, so you don't really have any free to weapons. And then headgears, I have all the headgears as well. I didn't need to buy them all, but I did. I don't know why. And of course, the relic is a decent stats anyway. But the second gear I have for her is this attack defense set. So this set is the set I used when I defeated uh, Nidhogg. Uh, this, this is, of course, this is a specialized set made for defeating Nidhogg. So, you know, I do use it on uh, Red Summer Deanne. Mainly because, you know, it's attack defense. So I could use it to, you know, on her when you're running Red Deanne to do OG Demon. But I don't even use a... Uh, I don't even use Red Dian, I use Tear, because Tear is busted. But HP defense is the set you really need for Dian. No other set is really needed. Of course, you can run attack crit dam on um, the other someone, but you know, just steal someone else's set. You've probably got like a good attack crit dam set on someone. Just put it on her for like that one fight, or if you're farming them with a friend, of course that's six bites. But yeah. Another one's Sauriel. So Sauriel I have two different sets for for two different reasons. So Red Sauriel is normally put on DPSs, Green Sauriel is normally put on support. So what I mean by that is Red Sauriel is probably, probably going to go on like someone like Demon King, uh, Traitor Melee, Perg Melee, you know, Barn, all these kind of characters that are built for like 
DPS and crit because of course he lowers crit resistance. No, he doesn't lower crit resistance, but when he's when he when you land a crit, he lowers their crit defense, or you can all crit defense. I don't actually know what it is, but with Green Sario, you're probably gonna put him on like uh, Chandler or Gother or someone like that who can constantly just apply debuffs, especially a uh, uh, blue Chandler. You know, counters every time he counters, he applies more debuffs, which is kind of useful, especially when you know. Uh, you know, they've got really high crit chance, really high crit damage, you don't really want to be taking that many crits. Especially with nowadays, a lot of the uh, crit-based characters are very strong. Uh, Tear, for example, uh, Demon King, Barn, you know, if they crit you, they're dealing a lot to you. So lowering that crit damage is also kind of very nice to have. Also, you know, Charlotte needs HP defense, so giving a HP defense Sariel. Also, I made HP defense for Red Sariel sort of for the same reason because you know you've got these uh these hp based dps's that don't use attack so what's the point of me giving him like attack crit damage sorry link i like to give him hp defense red sorry link but still i do think also uh sorry and tomiel are the two sorry tomiel and merlin are the three which i think you know it's definitely good to have two different sets for i don't think there really are many other characters maybe one more which i think is the final character which i believe should be king yes so King has attack crit damage, but he also has HP defense. There are two reasons for this. HP defense is for Green King, which is I use on Link on Gotha, as well as a Pierce Link on Freya, which I actually use attack crit damage for instead. Um, but attack crit damage is really needed for this King, and for also for Green King if you're using him for uh, Grey Demon. HP defense is good for the Fate Link for Gotha, and Barn. Barn also has a Fate Link with him, I'm pretty sure. And then if you're using, you know, you want Freya to have more CC, you give her the Pierce link. He's also used for Pierce for other characters as well. So it's always nice to have that as well. Also, I forgot to mention with Merlin, uh, she has the crit chance link, which I use for Eskin also. You know, HP defense attack crit damage is always nice to have, depending on uh, if I need more HP, if he's got uh, got low CC, or if I need more attack, because I don't really care about CC. But I think there are four characters that I could highly recommend you having two sets for, which is King, Merlin, Sorrel and Tommy. So Sorrel and Tommy are the ones where, like, I think, okay, so of course, triple defense for Tommy, uh, blue Tommy, and HP defense for red Tommy, and then Sorrel is attack crit down, and then HP defense, of course, for red and green, because of their, their links have two different, uh, their graces, sorry, have two different real uses. And then Merlin, because she has a lot of utility characters as well as having a few DPS characters, it's always nice to have, and King as well, utility and DPS, so you want to kind of uh, make sure you've got multiple sets for them so you can use them. But that's really it. There are 10 characters in total. Uh, they have two sets each, so that's like 20 sets. Oh god, that's a lot. I didn't realize how much that is. So 20 sets, it's 20 times 6, 120. Nope, my brain's off. Uh, that is 20 sets, yeah. Because two for each, and there's 10 of them. Uh, six. Yeah, anyway, I'm, I can't be able to do the math, but it's a lot of, uh, of course, uh, engraving stones. But of course, if you're running out on, if you're running out of engraving stones and you've seen this video, like, don't go crazy about it. I've been playing this game for a very long time, as you can tell by the amount of resources I have. So don't, like, think, okay, now I've got, oh god, I've got so many of these. But don't feel like you have to make these sets. These are just my recommendations, of course. You know, if you want, you know, I make these recommendations to my friends as well. One of my friends who, he, he plays the game, like, on and off. When he gets good luck, he'll stop playing the game again. When he gets bad luck, he sort of goes off the game again. But I tell him, you know, having these sets for certain characters is kind of better. Just for, like... PvE or PvP or oh, because after a while certain characters roles change. For example, you know, Marker went from DPS to support. Um, you know, Merlin went from a back unit to you know Lolly Merlin, and then the new Merlin, and then all these kind of things. You know, it's always nice to have multiple sets for certain characters. But anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.